non-basketball related things. They're out on the soccer field and they're in the swimming pool. So you get to see how they relate to adversity. When you win, it's not anything individual. You, know, you may go back to the locker room and see that you had 20, 30 points, but one as a team because you wouldn't have got those 20, 30 points without your team, without the rebounds, without the screens. I thought it really showed us that uh, we have to be a team, that you can't be an individual. Uh, examples were some guys couldn't swim, so people that could swim had to help those before they could help themselves. My favorite part was probably the swimming, uh, just because like I can't swim, but I fought through it. And even though I was kind of hanging on the wall and stuff, like I fought through it. and. And I knew my teammates were there to pick me up. I mean, there was one point I was like literally at the bottom of the pool, and I'm like, oh, help. So they came and got me. And, you know, that's all the team, teamwork. The two gentlemen that ran uh, Judgment Day, Pat Downey and Sam Silla, one is a former special operations guy that lost his hand in Baghdad, in Iraq. And then Pat Downey, who is an NFL seven year NFL player. Um, and they really have a special impact when they speak to the guys. So I get a chance to see them talk to my group, and uh, that's to me is you can't put a price tag on that. This is about...